Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigal Grim here and welcome back to another video, we're going to fight boss Darkseid on this one from the secondary accounts and it's not gonna be the best experience in the world because we do not have the uh, entropy on this account so uh, we're going to die to Darkseid super move and we do have Raven and less of Joker and stuff like that but uh, the problem is Raven has no gears and uh, using a Raven with no gears against this dude is possible I'm actually going to show you it is indeed possible but it's it's not gonna be the best of times but yeah first up with Kim Flint Suckerman fight I did try Norris Globe Kim Flint Suckerman fight I'm never going to do that ever again here Look, the problem with that is, like, it's all good and uh, all that stuff if you get a clone to get an additional special tree from Kimflant's Aquaman, all good stuff, right? But the problem is, if I do that, then none of my characters will deal damage outside of the percentage shell damage and that would be normally no problem, right? But the, there's a little bit of a problem, he's got parademons and I got to the point where he summoned the parademon and it took me one and a half minutes to kill the parademon because none of my characters dealt any damage to it because I had Nora's Gulp on Confluent Suckman so we're not doing that anymore. Dark Fate is going to take the L there, we have Shazam with Dark Mellow cards, so we're going to be fine. We uh, don't really wanna tank one more super move, so ideally we wanna get to the point where he has uh, it locked with just enough time for us to uh, finish the fight or something close to that. We get Shazam in here, we're going to do the infinite combo with Shazam, there's plenty of ways to avoid the super move being used. First up it's the Shazam infinite combo, I got a ton of videos on how to avoid Dark Souls super move okay, but you can back off and bait him into using specials, that obviously should be done before he gets to the point of uh, super move available though. But yeah, King is super move and we should be fine until close towards the end of the fight and we can just tag Shazam in to, to die once if we need to. Have him in the corner, we have a level 8 fighter box to be fair here. So a lot of you will not have that high level of a fighter box, but that was back in the day when the artifact chest was a thing and I, I bought a ton of these. Didn't get entropy sadly, but got a lot of resources to upgrade my fighter box on this account as well. Shazam back in there. Gonna come on chopped actually, did that more like for power generation and to get back the uh, guaranteed crit area, but that just disappeared as soon as Shazam got tagged out, so... Not the most optimal scenario, gonna keep combo interrupting him. Like, boy, imagine if Darkseid was not combo interruptible. I, I mean, that's kind of a reality for people who are unable to combo interrupt, but again, learn, learn how to combo interrupt my dudes. But boy, imagine if that choice was not out there, that would have not been a great time. Shazam, Shazam kind of gets killed there, sadly. That's not the most optimal thing to, to happen, but it's okay, King got tagged in. He's got uh, plenty of energy to use a special tree, gonna end the fight off in a special one, and that's the Kinflant Sakuman fight. And it could have been better, it could have been worse, we got all these special trees out of the way, we did some decent damage ourselves. And it's at a point where I'm gonna be happy with using all the special trees, forget about the clone and all that stuff, it's, it did not go well, okay, I'm traumatized. Okay, so now Raven's got no gears. So if Darkseid farts in her general direction, she, she's going to die, so you need to be very careful with that. We got less of Joker, he's going to actually act like the, the main tank of this fight, he's the one who's the most apt for the most part to take damage for Raven. And the no gears has another side to it, like normally you could easily keep power draining Darkseid with Raven. But the problem with that is the following, and yeah I messed up there, my bad. The problem with that is the following. If I had gears, I would have be able to have fast stack chance, which pretty much doubles the effectiveness of power drain on Raven, and we don't have that. And uh, I'm not gonna survive power draining him for longer amounts than the uh, combo that I'm going to do on Tagen. Backed off a bit with Joker there on purpose to stall for my super move, and at the same time, uh, in order to bait his special one. That's that's another way to. Um, Make sure he doesn't do super move, bait his specials, he's going to trigger specials if you get far away from him. Over here we're going to tag Raven in there yet again, use special 1 and we do have Nora's globe on EPI. And uh, he uses a special on uh, EPI, so that's fine, we're gonna try to bait another one, it can be annoying, he's gonna do a lot of jump attacks, you, you kind of need to find a sweet spot where um, he's uh, going to do um, these specials instead of a jump into a swipe. And we lost either Raven Darkness Tax, EPI is alive, but there we go, that's a bug, that's a bug. It's only for EPI, but it seems like against Darkseid, after she gets killed with Nora's Globe on, she's no longer gonna be able to um, 
use her passive for herself with the dot values, but Joker is still going to be able to make use of that. Raven got pretty messed up there. And this, uh, actually this Darkness Appliance will not reset Darkness, she's not quite at the point where she heals from it, so that's great, I guess. Raven back in there, another special one. Going to tag EPI back in, she's got one more proc of Nora's Globe. Right, we have the clone here. We're going to let the clone die. I'm not sure this is the safest course of action, actually, though we got lucky with that. I should have just tagged out the clone like it benefits the Joker heavily, but at the same time... Uh, uh, it, it might kill EPI as well. We had to let the darkness expire because it was pretty much either that or red, let Raven die. Joker getting back in there. Thankfully baiting a special. Gonna, gonna re-engage the combo there. Raven getting back in there. Apply one more darkness. And we're going to actually let her die here. Because she was not gonna do much more. And if Raven dies without triggering her healing. The darkness is going to still remain. So we're going to be able to make use of those two uh, darkness stacks. The joker damage is quite high because of three passive stacks as well. And uh, the, the swipe gets messed up yet again. But yeah overall this. This went far better than I would have ever anticipated it would go. But still not tremendous amounts of damage. Okay so the Batman Ninja team is going to be one of the teams that actually has the best time here with no entropy, no nothing. So there's two ways of going about this. First up they're going to have absolutely no problem baiting the uh, specials by getting away from him and that way making him use power and at the same time they have a pretty significant power slow on the special tree. So if you get to the point where you spam the special tree like after only one combo instead of after two combos you're going to actually be able to get Darkness to the point where he's going to use like one or two super moves throughout the entire fight without baiting any uh, specials being used and uh, you can uh, target those two super moves at either uh, Grodd or Robin and you're going to have a an easy time here. Like this was the most easy peasy stress free fight. Uh, it it's not the most optimal damage for this team because um, the reason why you normally don't do this because there's nothing stopping you from doing this every single fight. Over there the swipe didn't register for some reason at the end of that combo and that messed me up. But yeah, normally there's absolutely no uh, nothing stopping you from spamming special tree after every single combo in like normal fights. But usually don't do that because by building a combo all the way up to uh, 40 hits you're going to get far more damage out of it. And your basic attack hits are far more efficient at stacking the lethal attack damage than your special tree is. So you're actually for the most part losing a little bit of damage by spamming special tree after only one combo. This was this was something that was kind of researched and found out uh, upon release of Batman Ninja Catwoman by some people fighting Scarecrow in League Raids. But here is going to be the actually the most optimal choice. We could do special tree after uh, like two combos, but uh, the um, uh, debuff of power generation would uh, have a pretty big downtime in between because as you can see right now, even though we're spamming it, it still like gets one second of normal power generation like towards the end of the animation of the special tree because the debuff gets applied at the end of it. Use a special two there and we are going to do a special tree. Right now we're going to tag another character to get killed. That's that's fine. We, we keep their passives. No, nobody really really hurts from them dying so we can do that the problem is when he gets to using a third super move at that point Catman is like oh boy that's that's not gonna go well bring the combo here special train there yet again come on chopped again not a special train there and boys like looking at his health at this point it's looking pretty optimistic I, I might be able to kill him in 12 more fights it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to kill him or at the very least get very close to it. Though getting very close to it doesn't help me one bit. So hopefully it doesn't get there. So Catwoman actually, he only used one super move throughout the duration of this fight. And you would have used two of them if I did not mess up combo interruption at points. Because that made him use some specials and waste some power. But yeah, the ninja team is overall having a very great time here. And yeah, now for the Collector vs Superman fight here. So Clicker vs Superman is going to have more or less an optimal time here. Yet again, he you need to have some check marks for Clicker vs Superman to have a great time in a fight. The enemy needs to become unchoppable, and that's that's a check mark here. And usually that's about it. But for this one, we also need to not allow him to get to super move. 
So we're going to spam special one actually. Some people normally play him like this. You, you can definitely do that for power generation when you need to. And in the early parts of the game, like in the first minute, you can definitely do that. But after that, using the special tree is the far more optimal choice in combo and dropping afterwards. But sadly, that choice will not present itself to us here. Our special one in there. Brainiac swipes, tap, special one. And we're going to soon enough go for super move because I'm, I'm reaching close to the super move point and I'm like why not do that because we've also got Red Hood in there who's waiting to do his super move as well. And that one did not uh, power seal and that's why I was like okay let's do super move because that's going to power seal guaranteed and he's got a decent amount of- actually no, what? I mean I, I did at some point have that train of thought but we haven't gotten to it yet, okay? Here, here, maybe. Come on, use the super move, Sigvald. Come on, just, just do it. Boy, what am I waiting for, actually? There we go, super move. Also going to tag Red Hood in there, super move as well. We're going to let Red, Red Hood die, because for some reason it triggers the entirety of Collector over Super and Passive, like full force stacks. Some of you tried to explain in the last video when I said that that's... Uh, Oh, Sigval, it's about something about percentages, like the whole percentage of Red Hood gets drained and that's how it works. No, it's for each character that gets below 60%. I, I only got one character that got below 60% and that triggered four stacks. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad it works like that. I'm not, not complaining, it's a little bit of a bonus for it not really giving the damage values that it's supposed to. Yeah, here we're going to just uh, have a little bit of a mix between Brainiac tagging and Collector vs Superman Special 1 spams. We're almost at full stacks with Brainiac, so uh, we're, if we're going to tag him in the future, we're only going to do it for the um, uh, special... Uh, for the Dark Metal card stacks. And a little bit of a... not a mess up there, but more like the Special 1 chain not working, because yet again, that is not guaranteed. Over here I had a little bit of a delay on the Special 1 myself, so yet again, a little bit of a rough time, but we're going to pick up the pace, no worry. And I use Brainiac here to push him to a corner, did not... Uh, I actually needed that last Special 1, that's, that's 10 stacks, so that's great. Or seal it again. Another Special 1. Bring the combo here. Into an R special one. Engage the combo here. Into an R special one. And overall, like the damage is gonna be 40 something mil, a little bit of a spoiler, because this is the last fight of the video, and I wanna talk a little bit about that damage value before we get to the end of it. It's fine, it's actually fine. If if I don't if I mess up my just league team gameplay, and I, I most of the times do actually. This is actually my uh fourth highest damage team against Dark Sides. First being uh, either Kimplan Sakuma or League of Arki, and uh, third being uh, the Batman Ninja Team. So overall, pretty pretty happy with this dude's performance. Still four gears, my dude. Still four gears and four stars. Waiting for the boots, and they haven't dropped yet. And his challenge is live. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Subscribe, like, and comment helps a lot. Goodbye. This is the future.